you know. Um, there we go. There we go. Hi. How are you, folks? Uh, the people out there now can see me. Should I roll on, on over? Yeah, well, hold on a second. Let me just do a few things here so that I can... Uh, um, mm -hmm. Call I'm trying to... Call uh, I, I, Yeah. This is always a... Oh, fuck. It's always a problem for me when I'm starting off here because i got to get this little picture up at the top of the screen so that I can kind of have a monitor to see what's going on out there. I'm rolling and, over. And, okay, and wait, wait, hold on a second. I'm rolling there we over. go, there we go. Okay, now uh, let me see here. Uh, come on, roll over here, and let me turn on, let me turn on the uh, Skype so that everybody can start calling me. And this is when we expect people will call. The, don't don't worry. Just move over, move move over this way because when you got your big fat white ass no, over there. No, I want you to move over here because half the time you're off the screen. Uh. Well, don't do that. <laughs> He's uh, so cute. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so cute. I'm so cute. Anyway, uh, we with uh, now this is the point where I sit here and I stall. Because I, 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 we're waiting for I, the I really should just start talking about stuff and saying to hell with it. I'm. Uh, where's Scott? Where's Scott? Where's Phil? Where's, where's Phil? Where do you want him? Uh, where's uh, 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 where's uh, uh, who else calls? What oh is, yeah. What is the, the dancing? What does that mean? I, I don't know. Will you quit paying I'm attention just, to that? that I does, just see does, a little does, note dancing. I I don't know it's what those things note. are. That's an annoying little thing that Skype does. Okay. Apparently she's playing music or something. That woman who's got a name in there. Yeah. Anyway, we're waiting for you, folks. Come on in. Did yeah. you turn everything on? Huh? Is everything? We well, see when you tell me to go on early, they're not ready. They're ready. It's no, they're after ten thirty. They're not ready. But anyway, our uh, our if you want to call us using Skype, go to Skype. Get Skype. Get it on your machine. You go to Skype.com. And uh, it's very easy to lo uh, load it into your computer, and, and no big deal. You give me your first name, your last name, your uh, uh, email address, and then a, a ID number. Ours happens to be GabNet Live. That's what you ask for. You go up to Add Contact, and you go uh, uh, GabNet Live, and they'll say, do you want us to make you a contact? And you say yes, and that's it, you know? Then you can just call us up and say howdy. Well, there's Phil Meyer coming online, All right, so Phil. he'll be he'll be with us in a second. Everybody else, I think, has given up on me totally. So uh, there's Phil. Hi, See, Phil. I told you Phil would call. Hey, Phil. See, and uh, you know we got where's Jeff Stein tonight? Where's uh, Scott Boddicker? And where's all those people? Hello, Phil. Hey, here I am to save the day. You know, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, well, it may just be you and I tonight. Yeah, because you, know, you never know. Going to sleep. You, you never know. Yeah. Hi, Phil. Oh, hi. How you doing? Let me oh, let me tired. let me put you on the on the TV screen so people can see you. Okay. Ooh. There we well, go. They don't see me. And and you're really large. <laughs> I I know, but I'm losing weight. <laughs> yeah. How much have you lost so far? I'm down to 209, so I, I think it's uh, That's good. 26, 27. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. I I gained uh, four pounds. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, I've been trying to see where my thing is, you know. Are you keeping track of what you're eating so you know oh, yeah, how yeah, yeah. much? And, and well, look, hey, time. don't. Okay. You know, that's annoying All because right. the people out there listening don't care. Okay. And it doesn't matter, see? Oh. Uh, yeah. It, it, I, I she's she's very what unprofessional. She what? What was she talking about? It, it, these things pop up saying who's online. Like oh. I just found out that Jeff Stein was going to be online, and okay. and there he is. Hello, yeah. Jeff. How are you this evening? Good. That didn't take too long. Huh? Yeah. No, it didn't Hi. take too long either. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. My video went off, right? Well, yeah. It now it's on. back on. It went back on. Oh really? Yeah. I have the X through it. Mm -hmm. And it's ghosted. Oh boy! Don't worry about it. Well, You're, it's no, a radio no, show. No, but it's a TV show I think tonight it's too. TV. Oh, yeah. TV or not TV? TV. That question. They can <laughs> see that horrible hairdo you've got there. I just had a cut. Huh? I just had a cut. Yeah, but then you put it up in a bun, and it. Because that's yeah. how I sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Phil, it was starting to. Yeah, there Here we go. Comes. There, there we go. There we go. 
Well, this there is a new version you're running because uh, I was listening to um, Jack's show la uh, yeah, this today from last night, and uh, the second person that would get on his show, uh, they, they would lose the, the camera. So that was uh, what you were encountering uh, a few upgrades ago. Uh, just hang up and call us right back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, hello, Jeff. How are you tonight? I'm fine. And yourself? Yeah. Well, kind of going on. Uh, you know how we often talk about people die? Yeah. Well, somebody died in, in our family. Oh, oh boy. I'm sorry to hear and that. Younger than you? Yes, I That's did. what's happening. They're younger. I know. And yeah. there were both of them. Uh, two of our, uh, well, my as my son said, he says, two of my uncles died that both are younger than you. Wow. That they're in, always been in better shape, that they ate all the right food, and you're still here. <laughs> well, you. you know. That, you're doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> How old were they? <clears throat> the one today was 63. Oh, boy. And the other oh. one? Um, 65, 6. Well, six. you start to get, you know, I've, I've talked about this. You start getting uh, uh, guilt, you know. Survivor's guilt. Survivor's guilt. guilt. Like, well, how come I'm still going and they yeah. aren't? Yeah. You know, and uh, and I believe me, you know, I mean, uh, I'm in better health than she is. No, I have skeletal things. I don't have stomach inside oh, out. Way, well, I took care of that. Well, my my uh, IBS, I, I finally found something that took care of it. Probiotics. I told you that. I uh, take them. Uh, a year ago. Oh. I take them twice a day. Well, you know, I don't listen to you because you, uh, you're, you, you're a whole bucket of misinformation. I'm yeah, going to yeah, sleep, yeah. everyone. I went to a car. Okay, go to sleep. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Get the hell out of here. Mm. Bye. Night. Night, 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 Phil. What? what a chiropractor? Yeah, I, I was so locked up that um, I, I couldn't turn my head to the right. Uh, yeah. I called her last week. I, you know, I told her I was pretty locked up. She said, I can't see you till today. Well, yeah. Uh, it uh, it made a big difference. Really? Yeah. I don't go to them. I know. I don't believe in them. Well, and girlfriend keeps trying to get me to go to one. Yeah, it made it made a big difference. I got to go again next Friday. And uh, uh, I should be much better by then. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I've I've got a, a machine that my um, uh, former uh, roommate had given me. It's a um, uh, it's what the chiropractors use. Um, uh, what, what do they call that stuff? Uh, it's it's a um, electronic machine that uh, puts uh, pulse uh, not pulse. Yeah. Oh no, that that's uh, I I had that once, but not from a chiropractor. I actually had it from a physical therapist, and all it is is uh, is a. Uh, it's not a tens unit. Uh, it, it's uh, it's a thousand dollar machine that uh, they they use uh, ultrasound. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's an ultrasound machine. Uh, or, I believe that's what this was. I mean, I, well, I had stimulus, and oh, and they put it they, they put it on my back and. Um, uh, after I was through using it, I felt like I had uh, exercised. I was right. aching, that, like I was exercising. It, 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 it puts electrical impulses to the muscle. Yeah. The ultrasound uh, gets down into the deep tissue, and uh, it's only supposed to be used by doctors, but uh, I have one. Really? <laughs> yeah, really? because my friend gave it to me. When he sold his practice, he said, here, take this. So is this all the people we're going to have on tonight? No, nah, you, you know, it just takes yeah. a little bit of time. It does take a little bit of time? You know, yeah. And then I'm sitting here, like, at the end of the show with, like, nine people, you know, and I wonder mm -hmm. what happened. No, but I, I, what happened was when they did this to me, because I had a, a pinched nerve, uh, after each session I felt like I had worked out, like the muscle had been, you know, yeah. worked. And I decided that that might not be a bad way for people to exercise. <laughs> well, they've got that machine that you can buy on TV, you know, as seen on TV, that you put around your waist, and then it, it pushes in against the stomach. Um, I don't... Yeah, but don't, that, that's bullshit. What I want is a 
is a thing, a, t a TENS unit or whatever, where you put it in various places and it does all the exercising for you because it does make the muscles contract and do all of that, you know, so. Oh, look who's here, Jason. It's uh, Jason's night out. His wife lets him out once every two weeks, right, Jason? Yes, sir. Yeah, turn on your camera so the TV people can see you. Oh, uh, and uh, next Friday will be a fill-free Friday. Do you have to tell us ahead of time? <laughs> yeah, because I want your listeners uh, that claim that they wouldn't call in unless I was not here. Yeah. I want them to know with plenty and of... And why is uh, it going to be a fill-free Friday, and why should we give a, a flying fuck? Oh, uh, I'm going to see uh, Ann Wilson uh, at the UC Theater. Ann Wilson of the... Heart. Of Heart? Uh, okay. Yeah. Is yeah. she the fat one? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but she looked pretty cool, uh, pretty nice. Uh, I got free tickets from uh, David. No, oh, so you get free tickets. You never go to anything where you don't get a free ticket. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm like, I learned from you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, Jason. How you doing? Huh? You got a little bandwidth problems there, but it may clear up. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's probably on an AT and T. He's uh, is on one of those one of those dial ups. Yeah, yeah. Are you, are you, can you hear us? Okay, Jason. Why don't you just hang up and call us right back? You might uh, get a, a better look at the bandwidth allocation. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I um, let's see. I I used to have a three hundred baud. Uh, phone coupler modem that uh, because I had one of those Western Union, Union it was before faxes mm -hmm. uh, and it was a, um, uh, a telex yeah. uh, and you used to put the phone in the back of it in, mm -hmm. in the coupler and then I could send messages all over the world yeah you know, orders and things like that oh hey but somebody sent us a, a request to be made a contact Ed Young so Ed you have been made a uh, uh, a contact. Uh, let me see here. Here's uh, here's Dan calling. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, Dan. Dan. Hey, what's up? Dan, wait. Hold on a second. You're gonna have to call back. Okay. He's okay. on our thing. Huh? He's on our. I, thing. Is he? I'm, let me see. I'm, I oh, he so is there. Oh, okay, he is there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, see all these things I have to go through, folks, in order to uh, to get people on. Here we go. Add to group call. There's Tony mm -hmm. Magno. And uh, 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 Jason should be calling us soon. Yeah, as soon as Jason calls now, back, you'll have six. See, you were all, you were all worried. Now, I uh, just want to announce that as a restaurant, I have decent internet now. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, but all you could dis all you could discover to do video with was Periscope. That's so <laughs> I, yesterday. I found out that, that I only had one view. Everybody left Periscope. Well, that might be my last Periscope in, in the months well, that. Uh, well, I can have a periscope. What I what I what I would do if I were you, it, is I would get. Uh, uh, gee, I tried to bring Jason on and he doesn't come on. That's a problem. Hold on a second. Let me do something. Here. Let me see here. Let me add him add him to group call and see if if he sees me ringing him, because I'm ringing him back. There, Jason, can you hear us? Yes, sir. Okay, now you sound, you sound good. good. You sound good. Now, if we can get a picture out of you, we're going to be okie dokie. Um, and uh, but anyway, I was saying to uh, well, you're still having trouble with the picture, Jason. But uh, just stay there. About it, yeah. It's, it's you sound good. Are you there, Jason? Yeah. Oh, now he's bre now he's breaking up again. Oh well. See, I told you, the first half hour of this show is technical difficulties. We should name the show Technical Difficulties. What's the first yesterday? Yeah, just keep your picture there, uh, Jason. Don't, uh, can, we, can you talk to us? Say something. Okay. No, I think when you try and do the picture, the sound is worse. So turn your camera off and just... Or reboot your modem or something. Yeah. No, I, I don't know what causes all that surus. Jewish yeah. expression, ladies. Can you hear us now, Jason? Jason? Boy, you're, oh, you've got... Robot. He's got terrible bandwidth tonight. Oh, well. 
Yeah. It sounds like a robot. That's no, too I, bad because his wife only lets him out to, once every other week to call us. Yeah. You know, yes, Dan. Uh, Alex, I was going to ask, what's your upload speed? What's my upload speed? What's your upload speed? My upload speed? Yeah. Oh, there's Jason. Yeah. Uh, my upload speed is uh, is 20. My upload speed is 10, but my download speed is about 110. Well, my download speed is 300. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, so fuck you. I got a bigger dick than you have. You know? <laughs> uh, well, you know, have get a, wait a minute. Let's make him feel bad. How fast is your speed, uh, Phil? Uh, 120 uh, up and 12 down. 12 down. Oh, it's... No, no, no. It would be more down, down than up. Oh, okay, 12 up and 120 or 125. How about down. you, Jeff? Do you know your speed? I have no idea. See, the older you get, the less you know your speed. But Rob's Don't got the shit. fastest That's one. Right. Right. Or, uh, 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 Rob, what do, you, what do you have? 50 down, 50 up. Oh, because you're Verizon, right? You're Fios. Yeah. Oh. By the way, Fios just uh, sent us a thing saying, do you want, you want Fios in your, bill, in your apartment? And I can't get it. Why is that? Because, because we've all agreed here in the apartment building that we're not going to take it unless they give us a deal. So we, we're all pledged to not take it unless they... Like a, like a union thing. Well, How yeah. The deal is that it's a better service. <laughs> well, well <laughs> you know? no, it's not, that, you know, it's not that much better. I think it will be cheaper is what it, what it amounts to. Well, uh, that's their claim. That's the claim. Yes, Jason. Yeah. No, you're breaking well, up. So, uh, at least your voice is. Yeah, your voice is. Your picture it's looks great. It's okay. You're in the industry. Fix it. You know, you're like a you're like a bad date who looks great, but the minute she opens her mouth, you can't understand a word Jason, she's saying. Call the cable guy. <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. You never know. It's gonna. It may clear on its own. You know. <laughs> You don't have to hang up. No, call. He probably can't hear us very well. He... <clears throat> oh, he yeah. hears it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like okay. it's it's it. Yeah, but it's like you're breaking up constantly. Oh, he's he just hung up on us. Well, well. See, folks, the first half hour of the show is we should just make it a a piece of the show and just call it technical difficulties. Yeah, and well, they just build it right into the show. What? I thought you just should have should open up the lines that people call and they don't say anything for you know the last ten minutes of your uh, monologue, and uh, then they're there and they're waiting and everything is up and running. Yeah. Well, I you know what I wanted to do? I was trying to think of something to do with the with the twenty four hour stream that would be interesting. I had this concept a while back, but I've never been able to make it work. And that is, I would just like to open the phone line, the, the Skype line, and just let people call it Ooh, and start be... just talking and saying what they got to say. Well, we did that. You did that, you a did that once. Well, well, no, I had to do it here. I, I, it would be nice if I could turn this thing on to do group calling, right? And everybody that would call would automatically be joined to the, to the group, but uh, it's yeah. not possible. But that would be nice. That would be bad. What do you mean be bad? It would we had be that bad. one with Doug that night. Oh, right? he called. It would be it, because it would be a joke. Yeah. People would get on it and it would become a joke. There'd be no one to moderate it. I don't think it would work. Well, They'd listen, it's, it's, it, 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 it would just get yeah, silly. Kind of get out of hand. The other the other plan the other thing I was planning on doing because I'm I'm trying to figure out a way of how do we get people to um, how do we get people to um, um, you know, listen to that 24-7 stream. So I was thinking overnight about running the audio from porn films. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> and see, so see good after connection. do it at least one night and see how many people come online after, you know, the first hour, nobody hardly. Second hour, maybe, probably by six o'clock in the morning, the whole world will be listening. A lot yeah. of people would be coming online at that point. Yeah. What's the TV 20, Gabbert? Uh, yeah. Around Christmas time, he runs a, uh, a picture of a fireplace 
uh, I, I don't know, instead I, of you know. no, that goes all the way back to WPIX here in New York. Yeah, well, he stole uh, that. Does it he also? stole that. And, oh, and I oh. don't think, does Get, Gabbard still own that TV station? I don't think so. Uh, no, I he doesn't. He, I think he bought it back. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, he left for a while and then he bought it back. I know that when I advertised on it, uh, it was Gabbard, and that was uh, maybe two years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. So, there's this guy, Jim Gabbard, in San Francisco, since you people don't know who the hell we're talking about, who... Uh, uh, has been a broadcaster for years in San Francisco. Yeah, he owned KIOI, uh, the radio station, K101. Yeah. And then sold it and bought the TV20. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, nice guy. He's always been very nice to me. He was always a supporter of mine. Uh, and, uh, in fact, I had a TV show out there. Yeah. Captain you know, UHF. Captain UHF. I, I ran horror films. <laughs> And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I had a little uh, helmet with a uh, propeller on it and everything. It was really cool. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Now Jason's called back, and I'll bet he rebooted his, uh, his modem, too. Didn't you, Jason? Jason? Hello, Jason. <laughs> um, I'm just doing some Comcast. Uh... <laughs> some Comcast stock? Yeah, sure. Sure. Hello, Jason. Jason. Nice. No, he's, he's, he he's having the same problem. You must. It, you know what you should do is go to your computer and do a bandwidth test. I just did. Yeah. Or call uh, three four seven three five two zero zero seven nine. Well, that's another way of doing it, Jason. You could call yeah. us on the on the phone. Hi. Hello, Jason. Can we can you hear us? Oh boy, I feel so bad for him because I really—he's one of the people I really like hearing from. Yeah, you know. He's in the ether somewhere. So anyway, did anybody do anything terrible today in the news? Hmm. Uh, oh well, Jeff Sessions is—they confirm he was talking to the Russians, I think, right? But that was standard bill of fare for what he was doing on the committee that he was on. And when he was a senator. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, well, we, 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 we always have Phil it. here to give the excuse of the day. He could have said that he spoke with the Russians under these circumstances. Well, what he said was uh, to Al Franken is that uh, he, he didn't reach out as, a, uh, as, as an opera for Trump. But what he did do, he can't talk about. Uh, what and, does that mean he can't talk about? Well, I guess it was uh, uh, privileged or... Uh, it seems like everything centers around Russia. Classified information about Yeah, this. classified information. And Trump, uh, you know, I Trump, saw the Franken... Trump Russian uh, involvement. Yeah. I saw the Franken question. I saw his answer. And mm -hmm. part of his answer was, I can't talk about it. Uh, so he didn't lie. He just said he couldn't talk about it. Can't talk about yeah, it. Well, $10 million and five weeks later, President yeah. Trump has gone down to Miami. Oh, Again? And you don't have a problem with that, Phil, huh? He's meeting with school people. Betty DeVos. David, he could do that in a lot of places. Oh, no, this is a school down there. It's it's his, it, it, that's his excuse, Phil, so he can go down and be down at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. He goes down and sees the people. Uh, which, uh, uh, the people. Jason, okay. you've got a beautiful picture, but... Okay. Well, we can't I hear you. I know any Republican who really defends Trump. A lot of the Republicans I know who voted for Trump voted for him begrudgingly. And it's like, well, it's the only chance we have. But Phil is like all for Trump. He's like a like Trump, Trump. Trump uh, backer. And you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll, you, if, if Obama spent $10 million in five weeks. Yeah. Oh, my God. It would have been the oh, end. Oh, man. You wouldn't hear the end of it. Or with less, except for me. Yeah, even when Bush was definitely uh, vacation more uh, than Obama, all you hear about from the Republicans is Obama's off golfing. Here's a good. Here's a good experience. Hold on a second. I want to talk to Jason. Saying, can you hear me, Jason? Can you hear me? You can hear me. Here, here's what you should do. Call me on Skype. Uh, call the Skype number, right? But keep your picture up there. Yeah, but the problem with that. Yeah, he's he's talking talking like he's well, he'll be out of sync, but so what? No, no, it'll cut him Wait. off. Uh, as soon as well, you know, it will, it will cut you off, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, you usually have one Skype account. 
You know, this is wonderful because for what you want me to call you? Oh no! It would take up two spaces, but that's all. He could call them. Yeah. So what? Wait, 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 I'm trying to figure out what Jason's trying to tell me because he's the worst mime in America. Uh, oh, three four seven three five two. Zero zero seven nine. Oh, is that what he wanted to know? I think so. Uh, now let's see uh, if he can call. Let's see if we get him. Okay. Right. Uh, is it ringing, Jason? Not yes. If uh, uh -oh. now he's frozen. Uh -oh. Well, here here we go. Now here here here, here, here we go. Jason is calling. Add to group. Uh -huh. oh, but it won't it won't it won't do it. Uh, it oh, well, wait a minute. Hello, hello Jason. Hey Phil, how big are your balls? Um, pretty big. Uh, uh, I got. I had to get a new pair of um, what do you call it? Tommy Johns. Tommy Johns. Hey, uh, I'm calling you too on the uh, Skype. Can you pick that up or no? No, I, it won't do both at the same time because my phone your... has nothing to do. With I the I know, but for yeah. some reason it knows that it was you trying to call. Right. You probably well, have Skype. Cause I, maybe because I. Did them both at the same time? You, you know why? Because you probably got your phone number listed yeah. with Skype. That's right. I, right. I don't. I don't have my phone number with Skype at all. Oh, I don't know. It's the mysteries let, of let Skype. Let me just try one more time, and then I'll give up on the video. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, but you can always call back. Wait a minute. Here you go. We add to group call, but you see, it won't allow me to add you. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Now, one version of Skype, you, you could actually get your picture on when you were using a phone or an iPad. Uh, I just, I called in, though. I didn't it's use it's, it through uh, Skype. Yeah, oh, oh. But no, you know no, what no, you no, could no. do? You could use your iPhone mm -hmm. to call. Using, yeah, through you, Skype. Using Skype, yeah, on your iPhone. And then press uh, the camera yeah. and see if it turns on. I don't think I even have Skype on my phone. Oh, well, uh, then you're... iPad or anything? Yeah, uh, I can try. I can try back. I'll use my. I do. I have it on my iPad. Okay. okay. All right. See. See if that'll right. work. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have this fi figured out by midnight for him. So stick uh, stick around. You know, uh, it'll be uh, it'll be it'll be fun. This is radio entertainment at the best right here. <clears throat> yeah, this is entertainment at its best. Thank you very much, Dan. That the, the only thing worse than this is your Periscope show. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 The, Rob makes a good point, Phil. I mean, this president is costing us so much money every weekend because he wants to go down to Mar-a-Lago. I don't care if he's going down there to speak to some group. He's doing that as an as an excuse to be able to get him down there. Well, as long as I'm here, I may as well drop by Mar-a-Lago and stay there overnight. It works. And, and, I'll bet, of... and I'll bet he charges the cost of him staying at Mar-a-Lago to the government. I don't think he can. That would, that would probably be... Wait, wait a minute. I think he can. Rob? It's $10 million in five weeks. Regardless of what he charges, it's costing us as taxpayers $10 million. And he just got through saying in his wonderful red speech that Americans have to do more with less, except me. <laughs> but he is doing more with less. It could have cost 20 yeah. but You know what? You're hypocritical, Phil. I feel pretty good. Hypocritical. Phil, thank you. I, I really feel Yeah. How much like I can handle the week. Wait a minute. Tim. Tim. Uh, yeah, uh, how, how, how much? Oh, Secret Service gets charged yeah. for rent for the they place. They have to rent space to stay down there. Space. Let me see here. Here comes direct payments almost. Here comes Jason. Uh, some people come online or update Skype before they join this call. You, it, it says you, Jason. You there, Jason? Uh, yeah, well, we almost. <laughs> oh God! We lost oh, geez. You know, this is better than Where's Waldo? It's Where's Jason? <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, you know, the, I have an alternate strategy. Uh, I'm going to go on the offensive rather than the defensive when it comes to this Trump stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, be prepared. <laughs> well, I, I, you know what? You'd be more believable if you once in a while didn't like something, like the fact that it's costing us so much money. Because if it were the Democrats, you wouldn't like if it. If this were Obama, you would be whole, having a hissy fit. I, Obama, I, 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 I,
I thought Obama took a lot of time off. And he did? Uh, I, when? In uh, Bush days. When? Well, let's see here. Uh, it's always the, golfing. No. <laughs> he's golfed every weekend. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't have to pay green fees there. See, oh, gee. you know, I, I love the way you're minimizing something by joking about it. Oh, Look, I, I have no problem with the guy doing whatever he wants uh, on the weekends. If he stayed wait, 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 at, wait, 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 at the White House, it would still cost money to uh, to guard him. He's done to five Monday through Friday job. Coast guards all over Merrill because of where it is on the coast. The coast guards need the to guard. The shore there, yeah. yes, and and that's all part of home, homeland security because you're keeping the illegal aliens from coming in over at the, in front of Mar-a-Lago. Critical, hypocritical, hypocritical. They're kind of washing the dishes in the kitchen. Yeah, uh, look, uh, I don't, uh, I don't Come like on. the fact that he's yeah. uh, going down on the weekends uh, all the time. I would rather yeah. he just do the job, and I do believe that it's a twenty-four-seven. Uh, uh, and by the way, by the way, oh. Phil, there's a great difference between going away every weekend and staying somewhere else and playing golf once a week. Well, okay, it, there's a big difference. Well, it'd be nice. I, I think that he ought to uh, be told that uh, Camp David exists, and uh, that seemed to have been. You heard what he said about it? No, I, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? He said, "Oh, Camp David's nice. It's rustic. You'd like it. It's frost and it's." You'd like it for what? For about 30 minutes. Really? That, that was what he said. <laughs> that's, that's exactly how he said it. Oh, it's rustic. You well, would like to redecorate 30 minutes. You know, yeah. he doesn't seem to, to, to understand that there are certain things that go with the job. It like you know, job one of which is you don't take every weekend off. You've got to lead by example. He just got through saying Americans have to learn to do, with, learn to do, or do more with less. And that means he should be standing up saying, I'm not going to Miralago. I'm not going to spend all that extra money. Lead by example. Maybe then you'll get some respect. I wonder how much uh, it costs in the same time period to guard Obama or Bush or anyone else. You know? But they didn't, the White House? Do you know that uh, o Obama spent most of his time at the White House? I think twice he used Camp David. Yeah. Well, you know, he, he couldn't believe that they let him in. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you, 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 you really sidetrack a conversation because you have nowhere to go with it. Hey, uh, you know, what, what? how can you defend uh, what he's doing? Uh, you can't. So then you should you should say you're right. You're right. Yeah, I, you can I, say I, right. Uh, uh, I'm saying that I don't know all the whole story. I don't know what he's doing and why he's doing it. And he might have a reason. Uh, I'm sure eventually he's going to be challenged on it, and he's going to have to support his position. Hey, Phil, this is Tim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He thinks he's self-employed, mm -hmm. and that's not a self-employment job. We don't, we're don't. we not contracting with him. He's an employee. Well, when I traveled for the government, I got a per diem of $100 a day. He's, yeah. He gets no per diem when he's at Mar-a-Lago, but all the government employees that travel with him, maybe yep. 200 their per diem goes right in his back pocket because they have to pay for the space they use. Uh, are you sure about yes, that? Yes, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. The, they the, charge the you, campaign you, you, two and three hundred thousand dollars for the big meetings there. You didn't think while. you don't think that uh, it's money uh, laundering in Trump Tower. Sure in Trump Tower, the Secret Service has what top two two floors in in Trump Tower, yeah. and they are paying rent. The well, government is paying rent. rent for that. I don't think. And that, I'm sure they didn't uh, kick anybody out. They were probably empty floors, so now they're filled. Yeah. I, I don't uh, think that it's right that uh, they're doing that. You know, uh, but I, I, you know, I don't know if the guy needs a little bit of time to uh, to to get ready to do it the other way. You know, uh, uh, it didn't take Obama very long to do it yeah, the other yeah. way. In that no, one. No, I think Obama, it was called. I think it was called January twentieth. He was ready. Yeah, Obama moved up in the world when he went to the White House. Uh, Trump, all of a sudden, it was a it was a down downstroke. Wait a minute, the presidency of the United States is a downturn from being a oh. a, a bankrupt it's million billionaire living at, living at the White House. <laughs> There's not as much guilt, guilt, gold, and gold. Is that true? His apartment's gold. Yeah, yeah once they get that, That's he's got a lot of on the front of the White House, I think he'll feel more at home. 
You know, it's a 60 foot gold T. He's going to come down crashing. He's locking himself right now. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, it's me. <laughs> wait, 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 Dan? Dan? Oh, I said I predicted before. I'll say it again. Uh, in a year, he's gone. I that's my prediction. He, uh, he, I don't think he's, he's a not going to make it till 2018. He's not a quitter, and I think he's going to get better as time goes by. Well, now, you know, it's going to get. Uh, you know, he's going to he's not get a quitter. He's going to get impeached because this. You know why he's going to leave? No, why? He, because Kremlin is very disappointed in him now. Mm -hmm. They're uh, they they don't want him there anymore, and that's uh, if you talk read David Remnick's partner. I think uh, I posted on my Facebook. He, uh, he he's been in Russia recently. He wrote, wrote the big long article. And they're 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 no longer enamored with Trump because he's not reliable. So you're willing to be conned by the Kremlin? This is the kind of misinformation and disinformation oh, that they that they are yep. that they are putting down the pike to try to influence the American people and cause disruption amongst the American people with our government uh, when it's not true. It's fake news, and you're being conned. This is coming from reporters doing their. Doing their groundwork on the ground. This is just, not coming just, from from Russia. This is coming yeah, from Tim, people on the ground that have contacts. Right. Just like the just like the reporters who all said Trump had no way of winning. There was no path to two seventy. The polls, uh, you know, got him dead dead wrong. It's a well, cross checking complete. cross checking and disqualifying voters is how Trump won. There was thousands of voters that didn't well, whose votes didn't count because of that stupid cross-checking program uh, that they used. Well, you know, uh, he won by 64,000 votes in the states that, uh, when you add up all the votes, in those states that gave him the Electoral College win, uh, it came to a total of 64,000 votes. So well, Hillary it, 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 just didn't work hard enough. No, but she didn't have Comey fight. No, and and, and uh, they said... Uh, when they made the change in the platform for, at the Republican National Convention, when they met with Kosiliak or whatever his name was, the ambassador, right after they made an agreement to put in the platform not to supply weapons to Ukraine so they could fight Russia, as soon as that was agreed to, they WikiLeaks started coming out within hours. Well, you know... Uh, That's the, a quid pro quo in my book. Uh, well, may, you know, it's, I think it's fake news in my book. Because no, it's not you, 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 if, if you, you had that. You're amazing, Phil. You know, you come, up, you, yeah, come with, you come up with, you come up with, you come up with this jingoistic, these jingoistic terms, this fake news deal. It, you know, it's a complete lie. There is no such thing as fake news. It's either news or it isn't. Well, how about made up news? No, is known as I don't fake think news. any of the news that he is saying was fake news was made up. It just wasn't nice about him. You know, the, the right. Russians, if Trump had made those underhanded deals with the Russians, Trump would be in jail right now. Well, he may wind up being in jail. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. You can't you can't espouse those kinds of beliefs. Will you get Trump's on, dick on out of Trump. your mouth for crying out loud? Huh? Will you get Trump's dick out of your mouth? Uh, hey, if it was in my mouth, I, I wouldn't be able to defend him. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying a lot of people don't like Trump, but he's he's a fraud. He's I, there's no proof that he was ever a good businessman, and he owns a lot of owes a lot of money to a lot of people. That's all the jingoistic stuff that you guys have been espousing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you can't use my reality. wait a minute. You can't we, use you, you can't reality. use my if argument I, against you. Against us? Why okay. can I? I because so I invented you got it. Got copyright on jingoistic? Yeah, yes. yes. Crazy words. Okay. <laughs> Let me see the paperwork, baby. <laughs> Why doesn't he just release his tax returns and and make this all go away? Because no, his tax guys, returns Russia, won't make it go away. Well, because because you guys wouldn't be happy. He could release his birth certificate and 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 say that he's from Kenya, and you would still hate him. And and there's the there's the Imagine first. Trump's from Kenya. That would be there's funny. The first, I'm reminded of that one, Phil. Yeah, that there's the a, first uh, you know thing where you you, you got to look at a guy like Donald Trump and say that there's something wrong with this man for him to accuse somebody of being, you know, of being the leader of the birthers. Yeah, that was strange. Uh, he did. <clears throat> Well, I, still, put him up uh, I still think Obama is the Manchurian candidate, and he was oh, a plan. Sure. And, you know, and, 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 well, he's already done. He hasn't yeah. destroyed the country, but Trump might. Yeah. He, he, well, he was a Manchurian candidate. Really? Yeah. Really, Phil? 
Absolutely. Or, or, Where did he come from? All of a sudden, they don't even have a school record. record. He came from Oprah. Was he born in Hawaii? He came, he came, was he born in Idaho? He was in Chicago. He's George W. Bush was came out of nowhere too. No, nah, George W. Bush's father uh, was the president well, of the United father, States. father, but he still came out. He finally yeah. sobered up from going to the ball games and decided to go to D.C. Yeah. But he did. I didn't like a lot of stuff he did, but I had respect for the man. I don't know but about I, respect, but I, I, you know, I didn't feel as uh, uncomfortable right, with, with right. the man in the White House. Well, yeah. well about, He's you know what's really scary let, let, me, let me let me let me say this that yeah. the, uh, George Bush we're talking about Junior right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the uh, J- junior at least gave the um, respect to the job that it was supposed to have. Now whether he did it right or wrong or badly or uh, it did it in a nefarious way is is up for debate. But he did, did treat it. Anyway. He did treat the. He, he, shut up, Phil. Let me finish what I'm saying. Uh, well, uh, you know. Now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, uh, you said that George uh, Bush brought George, uh, 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 a class uh, to the White uh, House. Uh, no, I uh, no, I didn't say that. I said that he gave respect to that job. Okay, and he treated it with respect, and didn't treat it like it was some kind of clown show. And All right. and and uh, so in that respect, I have to give my props to. Don't put your flashlight up. I'm still talking. Well, I'm letting you know I want to answer you. Yeah. Just figure that anyway. All right, you ready for an answer, or are you still talking? Uh, I want to see if Jason's there. Are you there, Jason? Hey, you're still breaking up, Jason. Uh, Use the phone. Oh no. You know, just call us on the phone, Jason. Really, I'm serious. Uh, just use the phone number, which is, what is it again? 347-352-0079. That's the first useful thing you've done tonight, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> well, look, uh, can, can I just interject one thing to answer you? Yeah. Butch, uh, Butch Wait a minute, hold w. on a second. Let me see. Is that you, Jason? Yep, that's me. Okay, let me get rid of your uh, your Skype call, Okay. Uh, then I can lose the video. Huh? <laughs> but then I lost the video. Well, I know you lost the video, but at least we got you, and you're a smart guy, and I like to hear what you have to say. So, right. you know. But anyway, Phil is, on the oh. other hand, the complete opposite of you, but I let him talk anyway. All right. Bush W. Mm-hmm. had 16 years' experience at the White House. His father was the vice president under Reagan for two terms. He was the president of the United States for one term. That was 16 years that he got to hang around that place. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, well, uh, well, that's uh, that was... Uh, a little kid. Uh, no, no, no. But, you know, he's in his 60s. And, you know, and so the, he's a painting now, too. Yeah, well, the bottom line George is... You're talking about George H. W. Yeah, no, with George W., so with 16 years experience of being exposed to the White House, it was a lot easier for him to move in and start being more presidential. I think that, you know, uh, Trump has never uh, had a uh, political job before, and it's just uh, there's some growing pains there. And if he continues to do like he did in front of Congress, I think he'll do a great job. What did he do in front of Congress? Oh, it was so he wonderful. Gave a, he, gave a, he gave that speech. Even though you felt that he read it. Uh, I'm happy with him reading the speech. I like the information that he provided. The, I, hey, it, can, yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, go right ahead, Jason. It, it, is being the president of the United States the right position to be having on the job training? You know, Obama to have did. some experience. Hey, well, Obama did have some experience in politics. He was in the, you know, the Illinois State yeah. Senate or whatever for how many years before he went to Washington? So there's at least some experience. Listen, Trump I have no experience. Uh, uh, Jason, I I was the first person to complain about Obama when he ran the first time, saying that he is a complete amateur, and he was at that time. And I will have to say that about him. But he was ready to learn. Trump isn't learning. Trump is starting yeah. with a deficit. At least, at least Obama was involved in politics and knew somewhat how the game was played. And um, uh, this guy, it's almost like he he he's too lazy to learn the job. Obama spent a lot of time reading. 
and he knew what he knew well, what was going on every day. And 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 what the, and what and what and by contrast, what do we know that that uh, the Trump does? He watches Fox News. He watches not only Fox News. He just watch He watches reality shows. He 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 demands one pagers. When you should have like a five, six, seven, eight pager. Like he doesn't have any attention. There, okay, there is an interview with one of the newspapers. I think it was the New York Times or something like that. They have it videotaped, and in this interview, you know how they do with the political candidates with with like newspaper interviews, and um, they were they asked him to read one of his like I think some executive order or something like that. And he had trouble. And there are rumors going on that he actually does not know how to read. He got he he graduated from the Wharton School of Business. He knows how to read. Uh, uh, oh. I, 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 I'll post that video on Facebook, all right? What's that? I'll find the video of him not reading during his uh, uh, depositions for a lawsuit. It's from uh, full front. Yeah. I just put it on the on the Facebook page. I think he's a you can buy a degree. Well, he's yeah, he's a he's fraud smart. in many respects. He's not as smart as you think he is. He's not as rich as you think he is. He's a uh, con job, a hundred percent. Everything. He's a, about him. he's a psychopath, is what and, he is. And, and that's, awesome. that's all bullshit. And and it's and you can't support it. You have no facts. Yeah, behind we it. have a psychopath as president right now. Yeah, that's, where did you get your degree? He you supports your medical it. degree. Dan. He supports it every time he opens his mouth when a speechwriter isn't writing a speech. Well, uh, that's oh. what presidents do. You know, uh, no, no. Cannon was a speechwriter for Nixon. Uh, you know, you think Nixon wrote his own speeches? No, no we're not talking we're not about talking. the fact yeah. that he that he read his speech. All presidents at the State of the Union, for instance, read their speech. But but well, the but they make it look like they're not. Okay. And not only that. And that's because he's not a phony. He oh, oh geez. <laughs> no, no, he's a terrible performer. Okay. Oh, I give you that. I give you that. But maybe he wasn't performing. Speaking maybe of he which, was just doing the right thing. Hi, Jeff. Are you, are you, do you have anything to say, just Jeff? By the way. Yes. I'll yeah. Say, Go ahead. I think as far as his performance of the, what was it last week? Yeah. It was the best speech he ever did. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and and the reason that he did it so nicely is he read it from somebody who wrote it professionally, and he kept his big mouth of silliness, which he usually adds, although yeah, minimally. Okay, yeah. he did that smug look a lot, though. Uh, that's he did he did that Mussolini smug stuff. look. But the thing about him yeah. is he's a liar. He's a but, professional liar. He does it all the time. Uh, if you ask and, him a question, he'll never give you a straight answer. Then he's it. a politician. He's learning. Uh, because what what politician whatever you want to call it, that doesn't make him any better. And and uh, and and any of those so-called politicians who can't give me a straight answer about anything, I call them son of a bitches. I hope they die. Isn't there 525 of them in the House and 100? I wish we could figure out how to make it 10% of that. Yeah, I, do, I do, too. That's why they have a 14 or 13% approval rating. But they all keep getting reelected. Yeah, and that's, that's our fault. Yeah. And, you know, Trump was the first it's one to say, hey, I'm going to mix it up. You should love the guy for, for doing that. They, why do you think the Republican Party was so anti-Trump and they brought out all their big guns trying to defeat him? They, they were willing to throw the election rather than have Trump be the president because they didn't want to, to lose their uh, place at the trough. They're, uh, not only the Republicans, but the Democrats. They, they're feeding from the trough, and it doesn't matter who's in no, power. No, uh, yes, but you're drinking the Kool-Aid. Uh, <laughs> I, I like what he's and doing. I would rather he's, eat from the trough than drink from the Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like what this guy's doing. You know? I know you like what he's doing. Here's what I was I'm called. saying, go he's blow the cream him. of the crap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, sometimes you got to be able to get get in the mud in order. And to I don't know if he's going to last you know. four years or four days. <laughs> yes, yesterday, yesterday, I want to tell you, and and this is a you know, I, I was so happy because I've I've had you know IBS for gee, a couple of years now, well, many years now, 
and I suddenly found a way to solve it, and that was probiotics. Uh, probiotics which for some reason it's it's gone away. Yeah. So yesterday I sat down on the toilet, and I don't want to be too graphic about this, but I probably emitted from my butt the biggest turd I've ever emitted in oh one God. unbroken snake. Okay. Oh, wow. And wow. I, now the reason I bring that up is not to discuss people. I'm a little I'm a little proud of it. You know, my yeah. mother my you mother always to told me to you know, hey, I did caca but did really good, you know. Yeah. But that's not the reason I'm mentioning it. I, at the moment that I looked down at this thing because I was amazed by it, all I could think was that turd is more prepared to be president than Donald Trump. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm sure. And you know, hey, you know, Alex, this is Tim. Yes. Uh, they had one of the producers that worked with Trump on The Apprentice, mm -hmm. and they interviewed him, mm -hmm. and he had to go over the ratings each week, mm -hmm. all the numbers with Trump, and he says, having to explain that with Trump and him not admitting that they weren't number one was like being waterboarded. The guy would never admit that he, his show was not doing good, and the guy just... He just lost it having to, do, to explain that to Trump week after week. Well, you got to believe. Well, you got to believe, but you can't make you can't uh, ignore the facts. Yeah. Well, and that's I, how narcissistic he is. Speaking yeah. of which, let's talk about another story here. That, that yeah. all of this, you know, one of these nights. Oh, Jason just hung up. <laughs> this is not, this has been a, a bad night for Jason. I feel so bad for him because he. You was, know why Kellyanne Conway isn't going to be reprimanded? What? Uh, they said that Kellyanne Conway would not be reprimanded for the sales pitch she did for uh, Ivanka well, Trump. Of course, nobody's going to get reprimanded for anything in that administration. I, I thought she was in trouble for putting her feet on the couch in the Oval Office. Well, that's the latest thing, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. People didn't you like it. Like on the couch. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, let's get to the, the big story of the day, and that's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, my gosh. Uh, who uh, uh, said that he pr he is not going to go back to The Apprentice. And he gave us his reasoning that it was impossible for them to do well because it was it, because uh, um, uh, Trump was still the executive producer of the show. And that so poisoned the well for a lot of people because that meant that the people who liked Hillary weren't going to like The Apprentice or support it because it was owned by Trump. Right. And, and that, that they had a real deficit going into that show this year. And while the ratings were low, they weren't that much lower than they had been in previous years. Okay. I know how to fix it. Put Hillary on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's partially an excuse. He got the shit kicked out of him in the ratings. and Yeah, he didn't lose it. Well, it's an, ex it's, it's an excuse, but it's a good excuse because Trump did not give up his ownership of that his half ownership of that program. Yeah, but uh, I just think that's that's sour grapes in a way because he sucked at it, and uh, you know, it's against Trump because of, and the global warming thing uh, because uh, Schwarzenegger is a uh, envir believes to be an environmentalist, and he believes that Trump is going in the wrong direction. And uh, yeah, a stupid environmentalist, right? No, he's not going in the wrong direction, Phil. He has no direction. Oh yeah, he does. He'll eliminate the EPA. You know. Yeah, that that's a fine idea. And, you know what? That's a, let's let's see what what are, what does the EPA stand for? Environmental Protection, Protection Administration Agency. Agency. Yeah, it, it stands for more regular useless regulations. No, no, no. no. Uh, sh shut, up, shut, up, shut up, Phil. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And let me talk. All right. Boy, you were so rude. Um, I, I thought it was a conversation. No, we thought it was too until you start not it, it, hoarding the conversation. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say again. The EPA means Environmental Protection Agency. Right. What, what is wrong about protecting the environment? Phil? Uh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong about protecting the environment. But, you know, uh, you having all of these excessive regulations uh, just to make more regulations, you can do it in a much simpler fashion. No, but the guy, the guy, the guy who's taking over has said he wants to get rid of the EPA. Now, 
Well, is, you know, that, what? He, that guy who took over has sued the EPA nine times. Yes, fine. And, but, uh, and but he I wants to, he wants to get rid of the EPA. So my question is, if he gets rid of the EPA, does that mean he doesn't have a job anymore? No, he won't get rid of it, but he'll he'll you know he'll just completely chop it and make it useless. So it'll be money spent for nothing. How about making it effective, but not making it uh, uh, so um, drastic that uh, no one can do business? Uh, or or uh, manufacture anything. Mm, mm. You know, in California, you can't manufacture carpet because of uh, uh, you can't rinse uh, use the water to rinse uh, the dyes. Even if you have a way uh, of, of confining those dyes, yeah, I, 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 I want my I want my water being uh, used to rinse your dyes. Yeah, Fuck you! But it's okay to do it in Dalton, Georgia. But it's not okay. No, to it's do not it okay to do it anywhere. No. It has nothing to do with the federal government. It happens to do with the state of California, which yes. is which you live in. Yeah. So you have different regulations than other states. Yeah. And a lot of them has to do oh, no, with their own environmental problems. Yeah, yeah. And would that be something the Environmental Protection Agency had uh, something to do with, or was it the state of California? Well, the Environmental Protection Agency has put in all sorts of things like uh, lead uh, uh, oh, situations. If you remove a piece of baseboard that was painted before 1978, mm -hmm. you can get a twenty-five thousand dollar fine. So lead makes really? children retarded. Jesus Christ! And 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 we honestly believe well, you that you should be the first stay? person yeah. against lead because hey, it seems to you, guys want. you should be the last guy to be against lead uh, uh, because it, it, uh, obviously you have got yeah. some lead poisoning in your lifetime. Oh, you know, well, too much lead. <laughs> a lot of those buildings in Harlem, the kids eat the lead chips, uh, the the paint. The, uh, they they used to until until, until they they used to. They they feels wonderful. Yeah, well, there are just some things that are a little overboard when it comes to lead and asbestos and uh, some of these other rules. Uh, yeah. They, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I gotta. I gotta. My <laughs> my uncle died because of uh, asbestos. one of those asbestos. And, and he, from asbestos. he did that in his job. It was, you know, he was trying to do his work, keep his family, and ultimately he died quite early because of that. Is it true, Jeff, that all you need is like a little speck, right, in your lung, and that's it, right? It causes cancer immediately. It could be like really, really much. Well, so no, wait, Tim, 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 what did you say? If it pierces your uh, one of your cells uh, in your body, the oh, real thin fibers, yeah. they can start cancer fairly uh, quickly. You know and I have two friends that died of asbestos. They work in the Social Security headquarters because the government didn't take out the asbestos file, oh, yeah. the tile fast it, enough. Yeah, so there, there are some of the problems. There's, yeah. People who, if you go anywhere in New York on Fifth Avenue, whatever you see where they're working on a building, an old building, and they're pulling things down, they're 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 doing it in a certain procedure, which is I assume an FDA approved procedure to prevent people from getting cancer. But Jeff, that's much right. asbestos in in brake linings. Than uh, and and trucks that are going down the yeah. highway. Let's that, talk about that. And a floor. Right here in Connecticut, is a company that used to produce the majority of car brakes. Okay, remember we had different kind of brakes that we, than yeah. we use now. But anyway, that and company, this. that factory, that whole place is underneath. They drilled everything down as much as they could. And then they covered it with <laughs> cement and cement and cement and cement, and now it's a mall. Mm. But no more of that poison, which killed all kinds of people that, in uh, Connecticut just from working at that factory. Is well, that before the EPA was around, maybe? Oh, yeah. Ah. Mm. Well, there are, so the, the EPA, EPA really sucks, doesn't it? Yes, the EPA yeah. has a place... But there's there's a limit as to what they can do. What uh, is their limit? 
Well, the the limit is, is you don't need a hundred thousand regulations to say don't pollute. Well, wait a minute, have nope. you read a hundred thousand? You know something? They're giving them. There aren't a hundred thousand regulations, and That's whatever the, regulations uh, they are, they needed because people tried to work a circumvent the ones that existed. That, that's that, why. That's why we have hundreds of super sites where companies got away with not cleaning up, and they left. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but the government cleaned it up. And that yeah, with our tax dollars, sites. but that's yeah. the whole purpose behind behind. Right. right. But you may the, say the, the government cleaned it up, but it was cleaned up for for the citizens, for mm -hmm. us, I so mean, that we don't have as much cancer as my uncle had, or your uncle had, or a kid in Harlem who licked, licked on lead. And it costs okay. two cents a share, you know, for some company, and that's a big problem. And, and I've worked on all kinds of, no you know, medical regulatory issues. And you know what? They're not that demanding at all. And I, I they are things. demanding, but, you know, it's, things, it's, things like, it's good manufacturing procedures. That's yep. all. Things like not letting drugs come to the market uh, for people that are a terminal anyway. Uh, so that uh, and and they have to and they can't get it. Those kinds of regulations are good. You can go. To, you can go to Mexico and and take your risks over there. You're close. <laughs> close enough. Hey, you Phil, do you know what you some want. of the EPA regulations are? Uh, say again, Tim. The the purpose of the EPA regulations are for the people to use our natural resources, for them to pay. Without the regulations, they never pay for the damage they do to the environment, whether it be the ground. I did, I got a National Science Foundation grant in college in the strip mining in southern Ohio. I could take you to places that look like the Badlands. It polluted the streams. It, it ruined people's wells. If there was no regulations, the, the general public pays the price for the resources these companies use, and they're not paying the full price of the, of the resource. So they got to take it environmentally. If they want to use the resource, they got to pay all the costs. Otherwise, we pay either money wise or we have people die. Well, so I agree that they should, clean up, they should clean up after themselves, but they make it so that you can't uh, do the work in the first place uh, because the regulations are onerous. And, right, uh, but I don't, they're barely onerous. A lot of it doesn't get enforced because we don't have enough federal employees because they've had a hiring freeze for 20 years. And you're lucky. Uh, I had to call the FDA because I got cookies from the grocery store that had plastic all throughout of it to make mm -hmm. sure that they reported and they took care of, uh, inspected the plant, make sure it wasn't shavings of plastic and a whole bunch of other batches. Sure. What, so what, that's the kind of people we need. We need that kind of stuff. Tim, could you put put your foot in, or 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 take the other position? Why sh uh, why the EPA should be uh, eliminated or reduced? Can can uh, you come up with any reasons? Well, it, it is reduced, Phil, with all the lobbying money that's spent, and uh, the regulations. I don't think are, are overboard. Some that should be tighter. There's some that probably should be looser. But the the corporations look at the Koch brothers. They basically put people in office to keep them from having having more regulations. Right. So and, why and, didn't they want Trump in office? Uh, tr uh, the Koch brothers specifically said they didn't want Trump, and because, uh, because he, he because he's a loose cannon, and if they put Jeb Bush in, or they would toe the line, and that's why Russia doesn't want Trump in there now. He's a loose cannon. They can't have that. Now they can't ever make up with us and. Because Trump has poisoned the water because of his braggadocio and the yeah. fact that he can't turn his well, I, he can't I, turn his Twitter off. I can't I can't, uh, I can't accept that uh, that there is any uh, uh, issues that Russia is try is trying to in one way or another influence. I think all they're trying to do is drive a wedge between people like you and me and the and the oh, government. Absolutely, they want us to. We don't even know what's going on with their spy ships or what they're doing in the Ukraine or the war crimes they're committing in Syria because we're in the middle of this. But they, you know, their disinformation and their disruption, they did do it to help Trump, though. I'm not so that sure. would disrupt it more. But they don't think they thought Trump would win. No, they wanted to disrupt. They, they wanted to disrupt. But now, because of them, Trump did win. 
them and Comey. And uh, Comey's being awful uh, closed mouth. He's not providing evidence to the con- two congressional committees. Does anybody know about that? No. He's being he's being stonewalling the committees. They were com- Adam Schiff and my friend lives in his district and down in North Hollywood. Uh, they're uh, they're not coming coming forth with information like they should. Well, so there's a lot of investigating to be done. Maybe yet. that information is classified, or they can't come. Forth you know, there's it. only so many times you can you can uh, issue that uh, uh, that uh, you know confidentiality card. You know, we can't tell you because uh, well, it's confidential. Well, it might know. be. Well, but, no, but bullshit. We want to know. We want to know because we were we were rooked. I'm I'm wondering what they're doing about the Russians that uh, that strafed our ship. Uh, was it yesterday? We had a we had a ship. Uh, right. There's been. And we don't even know about that because it doesn't make the news. You're right. No. No. It should. Yeah, because you know the news is phony news. It's fake news. Well, they're 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 not reporting certain things. You know, certain channels reports uh, report certain st- types of stories, and others report other types of stories. If I hey, want to get, hey, st- Bill, yeah, would you support Sally Yates to be appointed special prosecutor? I don't know. Don't who you that think is. that would be perfect, uh, Alex? Who's Sally Yates? I don't She's know. the one from that was fired. Oh, because she wouldn't implement the rules. Oh yes, yes, yes. The yes. Muslim ban wouldn't that be yes. just you know? Uh, she forward? needs. She would have to recuse herself too because that would be. Uh, you know, she would be uh, uh, probably unduly influenced. Well, you know, the, the sto- there's an interesting but story. She's going to investigate. She's not a judge or jury. Yeah, but you can't have a press- special prosecutor until there's a crime. And when you're when you're just doing an investigation to see if there's a crime, that's why uh, you use a, a, a judiciary, not a judiciary, you use a, a subcommittee uh, and from the uh, uh, Senate subcommittee to investigate and determine whether there's a crime well, or not. Well, anyway, there's uh, there's a um, a woman, uh, and I don't have her name here. Unfortunately, I I should have kept the story. Uh, she was an FCC commissioner. Uh, and uh, when Obama went out of office, her term was up. And when right. Obama left office, he uh, submitted her nomination to put, have her take another term on the on the FCC. And today, uh, Trump said, "No, we're not accepting the nomination." Uh, so he's going to load now the FCC with all these people who are going to get rid of things like. Uh, Net neutrality. Uh, net, net, net neutrality uh, is probably going to try and give a boost to AM radio, which should be killed with a bullet. Um, you know, I mean, uh, it, it, it's going to be it, what they're going to do for for uh, uh, it, the trouble with this administration is that they are so yesterday. They are not today. You know, when 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 uh, Trump talks about I'm going to make a stronger military and we're going to spend more money on the military and we're going to build up our military. We don't need to build up our military. We need to modernize what we've got. That's what we need to do. Because wars today aren't fought with troops on the ground. They're fought with drones in the skies. That's not what the intelligence people are saying. They're saying that you can't gather. You can kill people with drones and and airplane strikes, but you cannot pick up cell phones. You cannot pick up computers. And you well, but but again, that doesn't take troops. It takes. uh, It doesn't take. It doesn't take troops, and it doesn't take technically feet on the ground. That means people marching towards a goal. That takes people who can interrupt signals, and you can do that in another country. You don't need a faster airplane. You don't need faster airplanes. You don't need uh, uh, 10,000 more troops to go marching somewhere. Uh, That's not the kind of war. It's not the kind of war we're going to fight the best. Okay, we're going to fight a technological war. But everybody's getting us beaten to, to, to shreds on that account. We are terrible at, at, uh, uh, at, at technology and, uh, you know, using the technology for uh, purposes of war, as it Do you were. you think the generals that he surrounded himself with are giving him uh, good information? And No, information because they're old-fashioned, too. Well, because they're like yet they, they, you know. no Mattis is yesterday's general. Okay, he's not a today general. He's not what you need today. Uh, it's Jeff. I, I 
I'm always against generals. Yes. Because I, I think that they're brought up in, in an organization where you listen to what your boss tells you to do. And, well, also, and let, me, shut up. let me ask you one other question, Jeff. Do they uh, do better in wartime or do they do better in peace? You know, well, for their job, for job advancement. Absolutely. Wartime. 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 Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what happened in Iraq. Iraq fell apart. Because we couldn't handle the peacetime part. Yeah, we, we'd just be happy we're not fighting. We're always going to fight something. Well, we're uh, uh, what, what were you going to say, Rob? We're not spending money. The military uh, establishment there, the what do they call it? The military complex is not uh, is not gearing up. We've got to spend lots of money. There's a lot of people who pay the government a lot of money to to make sure that uh, we ramp up. Yeah. Yeah, well, ramping up is good for the economy. Yeah, 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 yeah. For nine, for nine companies and everybody else. And you know, uh, China is is uh, making incursions in, into the Sea of Japan and, and a number of other things. North Korea uh, is is looking at uh, you know launching nuclear bombs. Oh, I think, here we go with the I nuclear think it, You know, having a strong military is is a smart move when you have. How do you think oh, we have a strong? Uh, we don't have military it. right now. No. Military. You don't. Well, who, who's stronger than us? Who, who, who no spends as much us, money? Who spend, Do you know we spend 51 percent of your taxes goes to the military? The only country that comes close to that is England, where it's ten percent. That may be true. Well, wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. So, what are you going to do with more money? For, for the military that we aren't already doing now or are we just not spending it right because we're, we're 51 cents on every dollar that I give to the government is going to war and you should be angry that it's being spent the way it's being spent because they're wasting that money well then then why does he need more money if he's going to economize yes. it needs to be spent differently no no but if he's going to spend it differently and economize then why does he need more Right. He didn't say he was going to economize. He said he was going to get more for the money. He was, no, he, no. Then why if he, he wants more, more money, then why does he need more? Because we have. To, more you don't. You don't have a good answer for that, <laughs> Phil. Oh, oh, cost reduction. <laughs> yeah, he'll do cost reduction. Not cost expansion. He probably got to deal with these military. The Fifty-four billion dollar increase that he's asking for is on top of cost reductions. He doesn't. And, you don't need that kind of build. Uh, no, How about giving us health care? Yeah, yeah, we we'll waste that money on health care. How about that, Tony? Yeah. Right? How about that, Tony? How about building the military? Fucking give us the health care you're supposed to be working on. How about we take care of Americans? and How give about us paying for your own health care? <laughs> I'm already doing it. That's How can you pay for your own health care? Wait a minute. How can you pay for your own health care when you're too sick to work? And I don't want to build another bomb. I want health care with it. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. With it. When you when you He's when you the best the the today, world. it's not tax deductible unless you have a cafeteria one twenty five plan from this uh, uh, where you're allowed to deduct the uh, uh, the uh, the money and do it as a pre uh, employment tax. Obama see that's a wait 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 a minute wait a minute. Uh, if I pay money for I think medical insurance, it is tax deductible. Not an employer. If an employer no. pays money without the one twenty five plan. Uh, uh, then uh, he can't deduct it, and it's and it's treated. Well, as fuck, the, fuck, the fuck, fuck, fuck the employer. Uh, uh, you know, the I'm thinking. Is going to give you the. I'm, think, I'm you thinking the about. I'm thinking about us. But all I'm saying is, is that uh, you know, uh, you're saying, oh, you know, uh, they should go out and pay for their own health insurance. Well, how can you? Where's the money going to come from if you're too sick to work? Well, the, what he what Trump said is that the people that can't afford it. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be getting Medicaid, and they'll expand okay. Medicaid. Okay. Oh, they're going to expand Medicaid? Right. Oh, I'll wait for that one. For uh, for those that can't afford, and those that can, uh, can pay it and get a tax deduction and get tax credits. Oh, yeah, tax. I, I want those. those who run you know, are not thinking the same line. Well, they're, they're talking about people who that don't even pay tax getting money for a tax credit. For, uh, for if they buy health care. Yeah, but and, your conservatives uh, don't want that. I know they don't want it, but I'm not sticking up for the conservatives. I'm sticking up for Trump, who is who is who has asked for that. And uh, you know, I don't like the conservatives. I don't like yeah. the Republicans. 
I think that they're uh, they're just as bad as, as as the rest of them. And it and all they want is the corner office, and they're conning us into uh, giving them the offices with the better views and the bigger offices when they're in power. And listen, Phil, you know you are just. I can't believe how naive you are. Here you are talking about all these conspiracies and these privileged people, and yet who is Trump making his uh, cabinet? Nothing but billionaires and privileged people, okay? So if you want to talk about these privileged fat cats sitting around making money and so on, that's the very people who are now inhabiting your country's uh, uh, government. Well, at least they know how to do it. People out of touch, wealthy people. I don't know what it's like to get up in the morning and put on their underwear and tie their shoes because they got some. Well, they wear hands to Rome, isn't it? Yeah, we've been we've been we've been joined by Jack Bishop. Turn on your camera, Jack. Oh, wait a minute! It's TV. It's TV night. Oh, that's right. Mark. Friday nights. Yeah, Friday, Friday night, night fights. Friday night fights. Friday night fights. But. Uh, and all these guys are finding it very difficult to get along. Tillerson now is having trouble because he's not used to being a, he's used to being a CEO who has complete control over everything, and they don't like that adversity. You know, government isn't uh, a, you know a, a, a business. These guys are all flumfering and, and, and failing. Yeah, I, I think that uh, Tillerson is the right guy for the job. And that uh, he's going to be able to negotiate with Russia and the uh, 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 other bad players out there uh, because he knows what they're all about. Why are they obsessed with Russia? I think Trump wait, is wait, 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 not letting them be autonomous. Yeah, Dan, I think and, Trump and, is controlling Phil, them. why don't you replace Kellyanne Conway? Because you're a way better Trump spokesperson than she is. Yeah, you can talk uh, she's got better legs than me. <laughs> and, and, and hers aren't too good. <laughs> She's a skag. Jack. Yeah. Bishop. I heard you guys talking about the military. Here we go. And, and I want to know something. Nobody has ever, ever answered this question for me. Whenever we start talking about expanding the military, why? We spend <laughs> more than the next 10 countries combined. Why would we need to expand our military? Because we have threats from all over the world, including why, why Islamic have, radicals. Yeah, why do we have them, though? We have them because, because they don't like our way of life. Oh, no. oh, they're so yeah. jealous of us. What's wrong? What's, what, 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 no, it's what not is, that they're jealous. They, they disdain our way of why? life. Why? Why, Phil? Why, said, Phil? Maybe if we said, we'll mind our business if you mind yours. They have never minded their own business. Oh, hey, we've never come out. 800 years. We've never come out and. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second, Jack. It never yeah. minded their business for 800 years? Who hasn't minded their business for 800 years? Islamic terrorists. Oh, uh, Islamic terrorists have always existed. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me remind you that the first terrorists that I can think of were called crusaders, and they went in and did a wholesale murder of Muslims. And that's where that attitude came from. Well, uh, you know, what has been happening uh, with the Muslims is we are the infidel. What they're teaching them right now, the Wahhabi. But, yeah, but it started. Yes, you're right. Even when it started, this is what we got right now. Phil, why don't we just say, yes, you guys are right. We screwed up. Well, it's too late. No, we say it's too late. We screwed up. Now help us get better. Well, it, it isn't going to, even if we screwed up, if, if, you know, 800 years ago. Bold enough to say that. You know, it's kind of like this. We got this damn from John me. Wayne. We got this damn John Wayne attitude when we yeah. really need to have a James Garner attitude. Yeah. Mm. Which would be, I'm going to get you in a trick poker game. I'm going to take all the damn money. I'm going to get on the horse, kiss the girl, and be 50 miles out of town before you know what happened. Oh, you and know. John always sounds the same. Hey, Jack, that's how we won the, co the Cold War, Jack. That's it. We can't. We, we let the ruble go unchecked, counterfeit wise, and it became useless. We no longer cooperated stopping counterfeit rubles. And, and and there's not a lot of counterfeit American dollars. I understood that in, in the. But we stopped. We stopped. But we we stopped cooperating worldwide, stopping the counterfeit rubles, and they couldn't do it on their own. 
I didn't think the ruble had any value to begin with. No, I'm talking about the, at the uh, toward the end of the Cold War. Yeah. Look, anyway, if we were to say, particularly in the Middle East, a pox upon all of you religious believers of any stripe, mm -hmm. that would be a big step. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are infidels, but we want to sell you some Chevrolets. Yeah, but then they're not, they're not looking to buy our Chevrolets. They're looking to slit our throats. Why? Why? Because they hate us. We're infidels. And that's what yes, we are them. infidels. Now help us get better. Come well, here. Yeah, you you want to get better? Convert. Okay, fine. Let's mm. fool them. Nah, <laughs> you can't Let's fool them. fool them. Oh, oh, they're supermen, right? No, they're, they're out to kill you. They, you know, as far as they're concerned, they're going to go. They're going to get seventy-two virgins. All right. Question. Yeah. Question. Who has nuclear capacity? Uh, Iran. Okay. How can they deliver it? Are they going to Are they going to put a nuke in a camel's ass and slingshot it here? <laughs> they have missiles, and they, and they'll shoot them at Israel. Okay, and we'll say. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let, let me let me jump in here for a okay, second. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Phil, guess what Israel has? Yeah, and they need them. What, 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 and they won't admit it either. They won't admit they have a nuclear weapon, but they have nuclear missiles pointing right now at Iran. So why shouldn't Iran be allowed to build nuclear missiles be to defend themselves? Well, if they wouldn't admit it... Well, I, mean, look, I asked you a legitimate question. Answer me the question. Look, if they don't admit it, that means that you can't prove they have it. And, and uh, you know, believe, you me, be believe me, there is no doubt that Israel has nuclear weapons, and they have them in missiles, and they're pointed at places like Iran, and Iran wants missiles to protect themselves. Do they not have, wait a minute, do they not have the right to protect themselves? They don't need to protect themselves if they weren't trying to push Israel oh. into the sea. And why don't we just say to both sides, you guys start any more shit, we're going to be the great big parents that you want us to be. And we're going to spank both of your asses. Israel has never said, I want to see the end of Iran. But Iran has said and that they want to see Israel decimated. Okay. Because, because so we're in... We're going to build some Chevrolet plants for you people to dominate your markets. We want to get in bed with you. We're going to fuck you over, but we want to be in bed with both sides. Well, the only way that'll happen is if they don't tariff us to death. Now, look, don't forget. <sighs> you keep bringing up other subjects, Phil. You keep diverting the discussion into yeah, other subjects to try and avoid to answer, story. to try to avoid answering the salient question that's being asked here. Does Iran not have the right to defend themselves? They can defend no. themselves, but they're not, uh, they don't, they should not uh, uh, be blah, 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 And who should, should not? Be, wait a minute, hold on a second. Right Jeff, Jeff, down. Jeff has his hand up. Jeff? Yeah, they are, they have agreed with us not to do, continue on their development of nuclear uh, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah. And they're, and, and at least we have that agreement. You you believe that agreement? You you believe that they're not just working on the nuclear weapons as as we speak? You're never going to have peace until you start believing. Uh, you may not have they, a chance. They destroyed to have a lot of equipment too. We do we did verify that. Phil, that? look, we wouldn't have nearly the problem in the Middle East that we have if we did not have a really bad history of doing stuff there. 19 like supporting Israel? 19 we'll get to that in a minute. 1953 Iran voted for a secular government. Who stepped in and had its central well, intelligence well, well, agency overthrow that government? Yeah. All right, who sheltered the Shah of Iran? France. No, no, we did. We did. Oh, we took his daughter. No, no, we, no. Took him. we 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 took him. He came to the United States, Phil, only for an operation. He came to the United States. We also put him into that job in Iran. Yeah, he came to the U.S. for an operation. Phil, 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 admit that we installed the Shah of Iran in his post in in Iran, and yeah, uh, and and. 
And the only and, reason... And, and so that's not a reason for them to hate us? No, because for 40 years we lived in peace with them, and they were an ally. Because hey, they you, couldn't do anything else because they were our puppet. Well, you know, uh, hey, look, what okay this, with me. You're, you're asking why they hate us. We're telling you why they hate us. The hate goes back a lot further than the Shah. Well, it goes back to the Crusades, but let's, let, it goes back to the Crusades. And it doesn't go back hundreds of years with the United States because the United States had no presence there 200 years ago. No, it, it, but uh, you can't blame the United States for their hate because it, it then, stems then, a lot further. Phil, we're not nearly as good as we think we are at selling an idea and a concept. You know, America would be a lot better off if someday we sat down and said, you know something, we're really assholes. Let's do something about it. Hey, Trump said that. He said, we got a lot of killers here. here. He said that last week. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, we we we've never. We should go through a twelve-step program and admit that we're assholes. I don't if think if we that. if we want to change the situation with Iran, we should say up front, "Hey, look, we're not the guys you need to worry about." Remember, Russia has always wanted a warm water port. Now, would you rather get diddled by the American eagle or fucked by the Russian bear? Uh, they don't want either. They want to have world that, domination. Dan, you've been very quiet, and I, in fact, I noticed you were getting so bored you were talking to somebody else for a while. Oh, that was that was uh, we we have there's a, a roommate business that uh, apartment business. We got uh, the landlords are coming to spray for bugs tomorrow. Oh, that's, so that's exciting! That's, it's that's bug a day. whole big uh, to do because we got to move a bunch of crap. Yeah, it sucks, but. You know, it's part of yeah. living in an apartment. You, you got anything to say about all of this? Well, I'm not, other than just just the normal stuff about just, I mean, we yeah, we've been fucking around with those people in the Middle East for years and years and years. And, you know, all of a sudden now it's like if we don't support Israel... You know, if you don't support Israel, you're like an anti-Semite or something. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's just like, I'm tired of that whole attitude. You be, yeah. If you're not a Zionist, you're an anti-Semite. Rob, you got something to say in this? Uh, you got a little two cents worth? No, I've been listening. Jackie said it quite well. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Come join us for the intersection here at about five minutes. <laughs> plug there. Don't forget the in the intersection where we get down and dirty with this stuff sometimes. Yeah. But, I mean, it, you know, I mean, I just think that you, Phil, have to understand that the United States has been terrible in that part of the world. And, uh, and, and believe it or not, they have every reason to believe that it's a religious war that they're fighting. Yes. Beca because uh, they look upon Christianity as something that once decimated most of the Arab people, the Muslim people in this uh, in this so world. You fight them. You have to increase your military. But you because don't fight them. You don't do the very thing they, they, they're worried you're going to do. Yeah. Uh, well, if you have enough strength, like... Uh, oh, well, apparently we don't have enough... St we have enough strength. And when you say strength, Phil, do you mean boots on the ground? No, I mean people like Saddam Hussein. Do you... What? You can't who fight. were strong Sorry. enough to keep his people in line, and that's the only way you can keep those guys well, in line. That certainly yeah. worked for Tito, didn't it? Yeah, he was there for a long time. It certainly worked in uh, yeah. Uganda, didn't it? Yeah, and 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 Hoxha. It, it worked in, uh, in uh, Czechoslovakia. What, what am I thinking of? I'm Hoxha, thinking. Of... Hoxha is Albania. Huh? Hoxha was Albania, I think. You know, so these guys the kept those people Cuba, in line. Now you have. Uh, you have, uh, you know, all sorts of problems because and they didn't have strong leaders. So I guess with a guy like Trump, we're going to be kept in line. Well, uh, we're going to keep the world in line because uh, we'll have a military strong enough to protect ourselves. You have, but you can't protect us with our military. These are not countries and armies the way we, the way it used to be. You can't protect us that way. You lob a few bombs on their shore, and it, sure. uh, yeah, and then you just throw them And, 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 and that every much. time, every time we do something like that, we build the next cell. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and and kind of like Japan when when we it, drop it, the atomic bomb. Yeah. It, it, that, well, are you saying drop? The, are you saying we we ought to? 
<laughs> Take the atomic <laughs> option? <laughs> yes. Wow. Phil? Oh, that would be Phil, I got a good hit for that. Would you professional murderer? Yeah, professional murderer, <laughs> Phil. I mean, that would, that would yeah. lead to nine. That would... So what that would lead to would be 500 years of, of terrorism. We just lost Jack, by the way, because he has to go do his show, which is The Intersection, which is up next. Ed Young just decided to call the program. It's a little, a little, a little Wait, late, Ed. To call Jack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeff Stein, thank you so much. I love thank it. You. I love you on this show. Uh, Dan, you too. Uh, Rob, you know, you know, I can't say enough about you. Phil, yeah. Uh, Anthony, Tony Magno, thank you. And Tim, thank you. And who else? Oh, and Jason, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really am just, I, my heart goes out to you tonight because I know how you like to get on here and jab around with Phil. And uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, anyway, hey, listen, everybody, we'll see you again Tuesday night, okay? And thank you for joining us tonight. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, let me see here. Let me uh, turn my camera over to me here now. There we go. And I just want to say to all of you uh, that I, uh, I'm glad you joined us, and I hope you will join us again on Tuesday. And in the meantime, as we always like to say, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? <laughs>